Hello everyone. Today I'll teach you how to say my love for my day in Thai. As you probably know that this year on the 11th of November is Lai Ka Tong Festival. And normally in Lai Ka Tong, we will go Lai Ka Tong or float the Ka Tong with our boyfriend or girlfriend if you have one. But if you don't have one, normally people would just go with their friends or family members that okay as well. But, you know, if you have someone that caught your eyes and you think that you want to ask them out, you know, to go like a tone with you, which I will make a new video maybe tomorrow, maybe like on the 11th, which is on the date of the like a tone day, you know, to teach you how to ask someone to go like a tone with you. But today I'll teach you how to call them my love or my dear, you know, so just seize the opportunity so you don't have to go like a tone alone this year. Okay, let's get started. The first one. We normally say T rak, you know, T rak when we call someone my love or my dear. Okay, T rak. Okay, I'm not sure whether you understand my way of spelling or not, but this is how I normally write it. T rak. The word rak here means love. To love is a verb. T rak is a noun. Means my dear or my love, literally. Okay, and this is actually from English. You know, baby, from baby. So B, we say B. And it's like English bay. So normally is a guy call you know his girlfriend, bay like babe b, and the woman will call her boyfriend, bu. It's like bu like bay and bu in English. You know when you call your boyfriend or girlfriend bay bay bu, you know something like that. But actually the word b here from baby, um, it's not like specifically for male or female, actually both sides can call their boyfriend or girlfriend their, you know, love B, okay, B, very common. And this one is a little bit confusing, I don't know why for some reason. The word tua eng, tua eng means myself, but for some reason, you know, between couples, they have their own language, so tua eng become you, even though literally it means myself, but the word tua eng Eng is very hard to pronounce, right? Like the word tua, ua, and eng, both of them are long vowel. It doesn't sound really cute. So people shorten the word tua eng to ba eng, ba eng. It sounds a little bit cuter now. And now when you speak faster, from ba eng become teng, okay? So I will write it for you. This is how I spell tua eng, ba eng, and become teng. And for people who are not familiar with you know, the way I spell, when I use double T, it means like, you know, stronger than T in English. It's the. Tua eng. It's not toing like that, no? It's tua eng, ba eng, and bang. Literally means myself, but, you know, between couples, it means yi. And here, be and bu. B, bu, tua eng, and here, kao, kao. Kao, you know, kao actually means he or she, it means the third person. But again, between couples, the word kao become I. You know, maybe it sounds cuter. When you speak it, it's from the point of view of the third person. You know, instead of say, I'm hungry or I'm sad, just say, oh, the person is sad, that person is hungry, something like that. Maybe it just sounds cuter somehow. So the word kao literally means he or she, just like the third person become I and is um to be honest the word cow now today we use it very commonly so you don't have to just use the word cow with your boyfriend or girlfriend among female friends as well we say cow I do the same I say cow a lot when I talk to my friends you know it doesn't matter like my female friends or my guy friends I use the word cow or rao as we you know and cow, okay, is I, and to eng, or ta eng, or teng is you. And kon soi, kon soi, here, okay. Kon means person, and soi means pretty. So kon soi, pretty lady, or my pretty girl, like that, okay. You also, normally guys also call their girlfriend kon soi, just to make she feel happy, you know. And kon di, here, kon di, di. And people who are not used to my way of spelling, when I use um, two vowels like this, it means long vowel. So you probably know that there's short and long vowels in Thai, and this is kon di. So you can see this is short vowel, kon o. And this is di, e is long. So kon di is a nice person, a good person. So, you know, you call your lover, 
um, like you have a heart of gold, you're like really nice, something like that. So that is kondi, means a nice person, a good person. And last but not least, rakna. If you want to pronounce properly, we say rakna, rakna. But as you can see that normally Thai people, we don't like to pronounce the word r like that. You know, ra, r, we don't like, we don't like the sound. It doesn't sound very natural for us. So we tend to say lak, we pronounce it as L, lakna, like this, more, and it sounds more natural as well. Rakna, you know, rak here as well. Rak means to love. We say lak, and na here is make the sentence sound softer. You know, if you don't want to sound out too strong, like hey, I love you, but you just want to sound like hey, I love you. You know, it sounds nicer and it sounds more natural as well. So lakna become love you. Okay, so I will help you revise everything again, you know, and listen to me carefully, okay? I'll say it maybe like two times. Is that enough? Mickey? Three times. I'll give you three times, you know, three is a charm. So I'll say every single word three times. Okay, listen to my pronunciation and then you can repeat after me. The first one, T-R-A-K. T-R-A-K. Okay, the third time I will say it faster, more naturally. T-R-A-K. Okay, or T-R-A-K. If you want to sound more like Thai, we don't like to pronounce R. And B, B, okay, B is like bay. Bu, bu, okay, so B and bu is bay and bu, okay. And tua eng, tua eng, okay, tua eng, or you can say ta eng, ta eng, ta eng, or teng, teng, teng. Literally means myself, but here's mean you. Kao, kao, kao is I, okay? Literally means he or she. And kon suai, kon, kon is a person. Kon suai, suai is pretty, beautiful. Kon suai, pretty lady, a beautiful woman, uh, a beautiful person, okay? Kon di, kon di, kon di. Okay, means a nice person, a good person. And the last one, rakna, rakna, or lakna, to sound more natural. Like I already mentioned earlier that we don't like to pronounce r like that. So we just pronounce r, r, or r, at l, 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 okay? And this is the end of the video today. I hope you enjoyed the video today and I hope you'll find someone to go log at home with you. You don't have to go alone on this log at home festival. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you very much.